This video is a quick response to a question raised on the large-scale planes bulletin board of how to make a diamond tread aircraft tire without resorting to 3D printing or some sort of CAD CAM. It's also a good example of how many times the creation of a part involves several processes. A lot of modelers unfamiliar with old school machines think that the parts just magically come off the machine ready to go, but in reality, there's often a lot of handwork involved. So here's the tire pattern that I created for the 32nd P-51 that appeared on the cover of the Fine Scale Special World War II Tribute Edition. Keep in mind, when I created the pattern, the center was open and the pattern was press fit on the mandrel. The rod stock was cemented in place later when I made the mold. The basic profile of the tire was developed on a manually controlled lathe. Bulk material reduction is done with the lathe tool, but ultimately the shape is established with a file. The guide cuts for the diamond tread are done on the mill. The mill that I use is made up of a Unimat head mounted to a bench drill press stand. A rotary indexing head is mounted below. This way, everything is very rigid. Again, everything is manually controlled. The trick to the process is mounting an index head at an angle to the cutting tool. For this, I use a piece of rock maple that was drilled and threaded. The indexing head is mounted to the block. The indexing head is used to establish perfectly equal spacing. The key to the indexing head are various plates with different hole spacings. The plate goes between the chuck and the headstock. The block is then clamped to the table. This allows fine tuning of the angle of the indexing head. Remember when I created the pattern, the tire was simply press fit on the rod stock and could be removed. The cutting tool is a fine saw blade mounted on a homemade mandrel that keeps the blade rigid. The saw is mounted in the mill and adjusted to the center of the tire. The pattern is cut by repeated nibbling and moving the tire. Once done all the way around, the tire is removed from the mandrel, reversed, and pressed back on, and the process repeated. These cuts basically function as a guide. The pattern is ultimately refined with a thin slotting file. 